Hi guys, Paul here, and this is going to be a quick rundown on our Mobius protective case. Now we've been using these for quite some time on Thomas's multi rotor and also my multi rotors, and uh, they've been working working really well and have actually managed to save our cameras in a number of crashes. We've actually broken a few of these, but touch wood, so far our uh, Mobius cameras have survived. So keep in mind, it's only made out of plastic, so realistically, depending on what you hit, it may or may not protect your Mobius. If you hit a brick wall at 120 kilometers an hour, and this takes the impact, I would imagine your Mobius would be pretty much gone. So just keep that in mind. But having said that, like I said, we've had lots of crashes, and touch wood, we haven't destroyed one Mobius camera. So as far as availability goes about this, we've had people inquiring whether we're going to sell them, etc. I don't think it's going to be worthwhile selling these because of the actual uh, size of them and with postage in Australia, it's going to be far too expensive to uh, post out. But having said that, I'm happy to make them for people if they want. But what I've done is actually made these available on Thingiverse. So if you've got access to a 3D printer or a friend who has a 3D printer, there's nothing stopping you from printing your own ones and uh, popping them onto your Mobius. So there's two configurations available. One is this type. Uh, with this longer uh, uh, front end, which protects the wide angle lens, if you're running a wide angle lens on your Mobius camera. And uh, there's also one with um, not as much meat here, and that's basically for your stock lens. So depending on which lens you're using, uh, pick the appropriate one to print out. Uh, both files, I'll have a link in the description for both files, so have a look at those. And what I've done is I've printed these off in orange. And the reason I've done that in orange is because it's going to be easier to see on the video. Now, I would recommend printing these in black because obviously you're going to get less glare onto your lens. So this not only actually protects the lens, but it also acts as a lens hood uh, just to stop sun glare into the lens, which will give you better contrast, etc. So keep that in mind too. So black is the preferred color or any dark color for that matter. Now, um, once you print these off, what I do is I basically get a screwdriver and clean up the hole inside there. You could use a drill. That would do the job quite easily. And once you've cleaned those up, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, as far as screws go, these are the screws that I'm actually using, and I'll give you the measurements. Uh, we're looking at about eight millimeters, eight millimeters by 2.5, and the head is about 3.7. So they're the screws I'm using. You're welcome to use any type of screw that you would like. So basically, the way it works is this will actually slide straight in like so. And it'll clip in just like a standard Mobius uh, case. And as you can see, that's secure. That's not going to fall out. Uh, once you've got that in there, this will go over the top like so. And that is now protected up against that. So if it smashes in, it'll butt up against this and it shouldn't do much in the way of damage. What we'll do is screw this guy in and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. So there you go, the Mobius is in its protective case. LED should still be visible. There you go, the LED is actually visible, so keep that in mind. Buttons are all accessible, and these heat sinks have got uh, access to some air ventilation. Just switch that guy off again. There you go, he's off. And then basically what you would do is either Velcro this onto your aircraft or use double-sided tape. That's what I tend to use. I use a product called Mastic to stick it on. Now you'll notice the Mobius actually fits in the bottom section of the case really well. Like it's nice and tight. It doesn't wobble at all. But up top there's a little bit of flex here and a little bit of movement. And that's because this top section is about 0.2 or 0.3, I can't remember off memory, uh, bigger than a Mobius. And the reason for that is when it's uh, involved in a crash, and it goes down and it normally hits on the top side. There's a little bit of movement in the case before it slams up against the Mobius camera itself. So that's pretty much all there is to it as far as this uh, protective case goes. Um, there will be a link in the description to the, th to the Thingiverse file, so you can go check that out. Obviously you've got access to a USB and memory card. Um, that's really about it. So um, hopefully someone like Hobby King takes this, takes this on board and actually makes their own version of this, I think that'd be really good because then they could actually uh, basically mass produce these and just injection mold them. And uh, they'd probably even make a better and stronger case than what I have here. 
So um, I reckon something like that would be really, really, really good. So anyway, that's our little case. So feel free to download it from Thingiverse. And I hope this video was helpful. And I will catch you guys later.